got going into week 12 of our Madden CFM League. Got injury decision. I mean, we don't need him to go down an injury any more than he already is, so we're just going to start Joey. He's already been kind of a bust, despite being a good player so far in my mind. Just because of injuries and bull crap. Let's look through some scouting stuff real quick. I was actually thinking I might... My dog's barking for no reason. Let me mute myself real quick while I yell at him. Okay. He's over the fact that no one's at the door. I was thinking I might actually scout for a running back, but now we're not even sure if we're going to keep with this league. We may change it to a new league or something like that, but I'm still going to scout. But that doesn't change the fact that I wasn't going to scout a running back after I thought about it because I'd rather know how fast they are before I start scouting them again. He, the only thing about him that was disappointing was how slow he was. So, scout everything except for, like, wide receiver, running back, and, like, corner, maybe, depending on how good they are, scout them. Just because those positions are so much about speed. So much. Ooh, that's nice. Some nice linemen right there. Not that we really need them. It's not bad. Mm, it's crazy that he's undrafted talent. Like, those aren't, like, terrible tackle pursuit hit power. Like, C-plus hit power's not great, but... I guess it just means that his, like, coverages and everything are trash. Let's look... Not good. We're not going to get much. Yeah, just that. Might as well mark him, though, just to make sure we finish scouting him. I'm going to knock out uh, training real quick. Oh, yeah, if he's not back, let's just do wide receivers tight ends again. I think last time we did the we did inside run, which is wrong, but trying to work on our secondary more than our D-line. <laughs> Of a very young secondary. And we're just going to continue to act until a decision is made about uh, if we're going to stay with this league or not. Just continue to act like uh, we're going to keep this team for a long time. So Nice. So Chansey is a backup. But actually like a really solid player. And now getting up there. Not bad. Le Le Roy Dre, is he? He's a rookie, okay. Yeah, he's just one of the middle linebackers I just tried out in the draft, late in the draft. I think we cut the other guy I'm thinking of. We had a middle linebacker that was like a safety we moved over. God, two and eight. That was real bad. What the? Oh, press the right button, I guess. I've like really effed up my button knowledge because I've been playing Switch a lot. I I got a Switch like last year and I haven't played a ton of Switch. At least like Switch that need to be like fast paced, you know. I play like Fire Emblem, and right now I'm trying to play Zelda, and so far it's a really good game. But oh my gosh, the A and B being flip flopped on Xbox and Switch is driving me crazy. Because like in the moment I'm like press A and I'm just pressing B over and over again. <laughs> so that's fun. Let's see. I'm actually gonna look at something. Let's try a different playbook. Try a different playbook. Just to always try to try new stuff out, trying to see what's what's up. This team's not supposed to be very good. And we're not undefeated anymore, so if we end up dropping the game, who cares?
All right. Oh, I thought he was going to give him a face mask to start the game right there. So, yeah, we are talking about maybe starting a new league or changing some of the rules of this league. Um, I definitely want to change some rules. I, I think I want to change possibly some training rules. Definitely some slider stuff. Ooh, big hit. Didn't even count it on me. Um, for sure. But I actually would love to uh, change some stuff like, oh, I'd love to do like a fantasy draft again. We That's how we've always done leagues. And then this year we did kind of a sim league. Fantasy draft leagues are fun because you get to like build your team the way you want, depending on the draft. I'd love to do a mid to late season modified roster for like this year with these rookies. That's probably my dream scenario if we're going to change up stuff. Ooh, he threw it away because Casey was in his face. Love to be able to go and get, you know, some of the rookies from this year with some mid-season updated stats where it's like more actually what their stats would be. Less just, you know, oh, we're going to make them low-balled because they're rookies. Give me one second. Forgot I need to do something real quick. Send something. Oh, just like too many guys on that side. Nobody to block that if he, he just comes down. Wonder if he was on a blitz. Mm, it might have just been that guy right there. Not sure. Gosh. Just so consistent. Black. Number 80. He's a little on the slow side, but <clears throat> the way I use him, it just never really bothered me. Oh, able to get around him a little bit, get an extra yard or two out of it. So Curtis has hurt. <clears throat> McMullen and Armour sharing the load. God. After having <clears throat> Curtis, though, McMullen is so meh. It's just sad how much of a difference there is. Easy first downs. Just just looking for open guys. Not not necessarily trying to force anything. Checking out this playbook a little bit. God, they always have like a body, like almost like they're spying me. So the safety just came down. Oh, wow. I don't really think that's a touchdown. In real life, that's probably not. I think I landed with my butt on the white line. Too deep. Booth review. Gonna pull it back. Let's see. 
upheld. Maybe he got his feet down. I don't think so, though. Ugh. Franklin has made me think that, man, it would be so nice to have a super talented, like, big receiver. Or a super talented burner receiver. Because he's like Antonio Brown size. He's not big. He's also not super fast, but he just runs really good routes and catches everything. No, by no means is he Antonio Brown. But he's just, he's kind of like that kind of a guy, like more of a solid number one. He's not like dominant size. He's not dominant speed. Are they going to call a flag on me or is it holding? I looked like somebody hit him. What? Illegal man downfield. Wow. If we do remake our teams, it's, I always want to play man, but man, it's going to be hard to not do some like zone blitz scheme, guys. Go get just some a bunch of guys that can just really play zone in the secondary. And just like be blitzing from all over the place. It just really depends. A lot of that stuff I wait until the draft itself because it's hard to know what you're going to get. You know, if, if there's some really good guys available at linebacker, then yeah, you can do that because you're going to have to have guys that can cover at linebacker. But if they're not available, you can go get a, some really good corners or something like that, then that dictates kind of changes to your strat. Gosh. They are just completely inept on offense. It's sad. Okay. A strange eye formation runner here. I'm actually surprised I didn't flip everything. So Knox is also my edge blocker. I don't love his blocking. Switch this to a power. Go more inside where we have better blocking. Whew, that guy came off his block real easy. 77. Oh, thank God. Armor playing defense there. I just threw it straight out of defender. That left side of the field is almost like completely shut down now. I can't even look at it because that X-Factor guy is that good. In fact, I'm going to flip Franklin to go right away from him. That guy just went straight back on Horton and let Horton have free reign. Of the right sideline. Hmm. Armor has always been fast. It's the other stuff. Let's see. What's this? See if Black can take that guy away and Whitaker might be open. Right there with the middle. Don't drop it. Thanks. Let's hurry it up. Let's do the same thing. Bring Whitaker on a drag. Black on an out. Just see what this guy does. Oh, just like jailbreak blitz on me. Otherwise, that's wide open. Let's try it again. 
That's not the play I picked. <laughs> Let's do slants, double slants. But again, black out. Let's see where this guy goes. Oof. I really thought that was going to get picked. It looked like one of those guys in the middle was going to jump that route hard. Trust the blockers and McMullen on the goal line? Yeah, it's usually just a walk in on the power. That power, goal line power, eye formation. Whew. I think I might miss this. Okay. I realized I hadn't really adjusted my uh, accuracy, so I tried to get it on the right side of the little box, so it hopefully would be a little bit to the right, if anything. Okay. J Pace over there, 52 to 17. In his game. Guess I shouldn't feel bad if I run up the score on anybody. They have an X Factor QB. How are they so bad? He's like super old? Sometimes the computer confuses the shit out of me. They, sometimes X Factors are great, sometimes they just seem ineffective, especially in offense. Like they don't know how to use the guy right. Like, they're trying to run it every play with this X Factor running back. He's going backwards running the ball. Like, why not pass it every play? Uh, He's a little underneath throws all day. Again. Not every X Factor is the same. Not everyone's the bazooka guy. But how are you not throwing guys open, like, at least a little bit? Oh, shit. I thought he was going to get a better block. Oh, well. It wasn't going to go in the end zone anyway, so. Let's see. Let's do this counter again. I feel like that did pretty good last time. Gosh. Just not fast enough. I like these runs. They're a little different than the stuff I run. Not a lot different. Ooh, Franklin trying to get downfield. Almost worked. It's going to be in the quarter. I thought I could get it off in time. Okay. Yeah, I like the the subtle differences in these uh, runs from my normal playbook. I might have to look at some of them. Gosh. Their linebackers in secondary are so fast to the ball. Let's go with this inside post. But I'm going to change armor, who's out wide, to a drag. Oh, this was a terrible throw. Oh, my God. It actually was actually a beautiful throw. I thought it was going to be more of... It said bullet pass, so I thought it was going to be low, and it was going to get picked. And it dropped right in over that guy's head. No, don't like that at all. It looks like just jailbreak blitz on the left side. Overload blitz. Let's do either Franklin or McMullen out to the left. Oh. Not much there. That guy's good, Perryman. Okay. Oh, pushed out of bounds. He dropped it anyways. I should have thrown that a little bit earlier. He was wide open. 
wide open. And that's the, almost the same route, but the other way. Franklin, though, makes it work. Kind of probably got a little more time off the clock to not give them the ball back, but I'm not afraid of them at all, so didn't really care about it. Franklin only has 38 receptions, but he has nine touchdowns. It's week 12, so he's, it's not like he's going to get 100. This, but he probably has close to 1,000 yards. Let's see, what does this playbook have? It says 2 4 odd. Let's try that. No, let's switch it to cover 4 drop. He just ran right into him. Try to see, like, cover 4, 2 4 odd is uh, a little different from we used to. Let's try that out. Try this busting press. Let's give me a spread linebacker look here. Oof. Another short throw is just wasting their timeouts. This over G is a pretty standard big nickel. Cover four four quarters. Now, they're stopping the clock, but they're not going anywhere. So, it's the same as my other playbook, the big dime. Let's just do a cover two man. Nice turnaround right there, watching the ball. Let's just do... Cover four drop. Winning through the double team. Whew. It's always a little scary when they throw it up like that. You never know. They might have some insane guy who just jumps up and grabs shit. Oh, wow. And I started the ball. Okay. So this is kind of a boring game. Sorry if they're out there watching, because uh, this team's real bad. I don't see much change in the second half. Try a couple more of these things for this mountain zone run. Oh, it's Knox moving over. I'll try it out, but I don't think it's going to work. Oh, he got the double team. He could have gone downfield in front of me and got somebody, and he just didn't. <laughs> he just said, nah. Oh, I do not like this play, but we'll try it out. Oh, get stood up by one to get laid out by the other. Let's do these short runs. Terrible. Let's look at this. They bring people. Franklin get, might get it. He's going out. Easy first down. That guy looked like he was about to make a bad angle, but... It really is like a completely different type of player if a player has X Factor. Like, they'll do things that no other player in this game would do. Oh, okay, inaccurate. Okay, that was just a terrible throw. 
I'm looking at Franklin if they don't both follow him. If they do both follow him, they're probably going to clear out black on this slant. Like, oh, he was open. There was a safety coming over to be on black from the right side. He was going to beat him all day. And that sack came in perfectly to get me. I don't know if it annoys anybody else, but I really am annoyed by the fact there's no post when you change routes. Like, let me change it to a post. Let's try that again. Middle slant. We got the drag of the slant, and we got the corner route. Gosh. Oh, no. This year has been terrible for injuries. Franklin's hurt now, too. Oh. If you've been watching, you know what I'm talking about. This is bullshit. Every game, at least one guy goes down. Wow, that was terrible. I shouldn't have hurried it up. <laughs> Drive trail. Oh, flag. What's the flag going to be? Holding? Pass interference. Defense. Oh. Yeah, I'll take that. Shoulder tear. Oh, my gosh. I swear they changed the they changed the injury stuff when people started getting injured so much this year in Madden, in real life. Horton just catching stuff that other people would have dropped. Catching stuff that other people getting hit. Giving it up. Go out wide. I'm looking at black on the drag route. Only two yards. I was hoping that guy was in zone. Oh, I thought he was going to continue that route. <laughs> and when I threw it, I thought 56 is picking it all day. And he just squatted down. Oh, oh. I guess it just didn't register my A button. Yeah, that was a terrible kick and a flag. <laughs> uh, drives, yes, it drives me insane. I missed him and he stepped out of bounds. Whoa! How do you just drop it? If you didn't watch last week's game against Seahawks, which is a user team run by Airsec. The amount of interceptions dropped by my team was laughable. That guy was 
four carries for negative yards. <laughs> now positive. Whoa. We don't need injuries flipping over our own teammates, guys. Oof. I didn't think I was going to reach him with that big hit. I thought he was just going to walk into the end zone there. There we go. Delay these middle rush. I'll probably get the right tackle now, but they're going to run straight up the middle. Oh, again. That could have just been a pick again. Let's do a field goal block. Never blocked a field goal in all of Madden. Like 20 years of Madden, never blocked a field goal. And I know it can be done. I've had it happen to me. There's just something about it I just don't understand. Oof. Anytime I bounce off the first tackle and like everybody runs into like everything in the middle, a little bit of hope inside me comes alive. Whoa, I cut that back hard. I saw that left side getting blown up. There's a million bodies. And almost ended up getting it to go real far. Terrible. It's a little bit different than the normal tight attack that I do. Same thing, though, pretty much. If there's a linebacker on Horton, he's beat. If it's zone, he's going to end up in a hole, like right there. They had that zone. Yellow went one way. Horton went right past him like it was nothing. Here's the one problem right here with some of these custom, some of these custom playbooks is people don't ever like actually take the time to put in the things for like suggested stuff. So it's just the same play over and over again. Oh, that was a pretty good delayed handoff. I feel like against a certain team, certain plays, that would do work. Oh, 21's not an X factor, that's a touchdown. Something about their awareness just goes up like crazy. And he spins around and catches me behind him. Oh. Push in. Come on, Horton. 
Oh, he got the first down, but not the touchdown. Wow, that's rough. That's rough. And he just walks in on that same goal line power. Show would be nice if we had our rookie hidden potential running back to just run in those easy runs. Oh, it just might be over, says the announcers. Two minutes left, down 32 points. <laughs> Think they might got us, guys. I'm surprised they didn't call me a penalty on there. I just ran into his back as soon as he hit it through the ball. I guess they're just trying to get out of here, too. Come on. Oh. See, that guy's fine. Oh, and we hurt him. He got a broken arm. He ran out of bounds. He had it easy to the touchdown. Why? Doesn't make any sense. Why is he still have two timeout stuff, too? They're actually doing pretty good now, all of a sudden. Calm down from behind. They're still... I guess they're, they're kind of going all out, but they're also just... Letting the clock run out, too. Wait, what? They let all that clock train to call a timeout? That don't make no sense. <laughs> oh, run, bitch. That's Lawrence. This new Gmail uh, icon is throwing me off. That's disrespectful. Lawrence wanted that touchdown, though. 
<laughs> they hurry up to in the clock. Okay. Well, that was real boring. I'm sorry. I apologize if you stayed through the whole game because, I mean, what am I supposed to do there? <laughs> and by that, I apologize for letting up a freaking field goal. Oh, my God. Game. Figure shit out. Why are you still floating play calls up? He has a 75% completion rate for 110 yards. I don't care what your percentage rate is. You have 110 yards, you're playing wrong. Surpass Lentz Vimbardi's win total. What? That's crazy. That's for like career for my coach, though. That's not like. Given, uh, let's not give him too much credit. He's been the coach for 20 years now. 20, this is his 23rd season, so. And that just has to do with the simming and them not being able to be fired, despite winning not a lot of games. New injury. Let's check it out. Three weeks with a shoulder tear. Sounds about right for this season. All right, that's going to be it for this game. Probably going to get back on in a second after a short break, and we'll uh, be doing some other type of games.